I love how I go to start a video and immediately a house alarm goes off in the background, a dog starts barking, and it's just a lot of random noises that just happen in the background, and I can't like shut my window because it's really, really warm in my room. Anyway, hello everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new car added into the game with the season change, and it's the Mercedes X-Class. This is uh, it's an off-road vehicle. Of course, it's a pickup truck. Uh, it's cool. I've always liked the Mercedes X-Class. Now they've added it into the game. It's a 2019 model. So uh, we're going to have a look at this thing and see what it's like. Uh, of course, stock and modified and see what we can do to it modif modification wise as well. At the moment, I'm going to say it's really, really slow. I think it has a diesel engine in it at the moment. So 188 horsepower. It's a 2.3 liter. I'm guessing it is a diesel because it sounds like it and it, it's very low revving. It's just... It, it's slow. I'll drive it just so you guys can see what it's like. It's a D-Class car right now. D-Class 417. Um, but uh, people said try this thing out and see what it's like. So, yeah. Also, if you want to know how I got this thing, there it, it is a specific race. If I go into the festival playlist, right here, Mercedes Cup. This is how you do it. You get this thing. And uh, is that it? Uh, I was going to have a look and see how, how you do this. Anyway, I'll show you guys exactly where it is on the map. Uh, and you guys can do it yourselves. Actually, why didn't I just highlight it? Why am I being stupid right now? And I just didn't highlight it. There we go. It's right here. The Mercedes Cup. And you just do this. You start the championship. Uh, you have to beat them all on expert, I'm pretty sure. Very, very, very easy event to do. Um, I just use the stock Mercedes uh, CLK GTR AMG. Or CLK AMG GT. Whatever. It was one of those cars. It was literally the car that's in the image right now. That's what I used. And I finished the event very, very, very easily. It's completely stock as well. Anyway. That's how you get the Mercedes X-Class. Now, driving this thing. It's very, 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 very slow. It's so slow. Uh, should I even bother driving this thing like this? I mean, I don't see a reason to do it. It's really, really slow. Again, it's 188 horsepower. It weighs over two tons. It's not going to be fast. It's a diesel. Oh god, it's just bad. Let's just hop over to our festival. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and modify this thing. Just see what we can do to it. Uh, I think I might take it on some off-road sections to see what it's like. Uh, see if this thing is good enough to go head-to-head -head with some of the best ones, which is the Jeep Trailcat and the uh, TRX, I'm pretty sure, uh, Dodge SRT uh, Ram. So... That's what we have here. So if I go to... Is, is, it, is it in SRT or is it in Dodge? I don't even know, to be completely honest, anymore. Um, oh, SRT is not even in this game. So I'm guessing it's in Dodge. No? What? Ah, I found it. It's in RAM. So it's the RAM Rebel TRX concept. So this is one of the best cars in the game to use at the moment. Especially if you build it up to A-Class. It's unreal for any A-Class off-road events. It is, like, brilliant. So this, even fully maxed out, people use it for loads of different types of events. And it's it's a really, really good car. So, now, what is this Mercedes like? What sort of engine options we have for this thing to swap? <sighs> Disappointing, as usual, with the whole... Front end, just just the whole kit all the way around. That's kind of cool, actually. Uh, I would never put it on this thing, but it doesn't look terrible. At least it's a uh, at least it's a little bit of thought gone behind that, and then this just removes the side steps, which I don't really want to do. This is boring. This is really really boring. Uh, cars that you can only do this sort of stuff to. So we can have our off road race tire compound, which is kind of cool. I don't understand why I wouldn't put the rally tire compound on. We have our off-road race tire, but then we have our rally road tire, and it, it gets better grip. I mean, it gets better grip on the road, but I think this is... I'm guessing this is better grip off the road? Can you guys confirm this? Because I'm guessing, like, the stats for the handling and braking and all that sort of stuff, the way it changes now, especially, is only for road usage. So I wonder if that's the case here. I'm going to just put this on. It makes it look a lot better anyway. Uh, I'm also going to go ahead and make it the, give it the biggest tire as possible. I will also change the wheels to something more interesting. Um, I don't really know what to add on to this thing. These actually don't look that bad at all, to be honest. And they're Brabus wheels as well. Yeah, sure, why not? We'll put some Brabus wheels on this Mercedes. I'm going to keep the tire size or the wheel size the way it is. I will, however, bring the tire uh, or the track width out. 
uh, continue working. I don't know why I went back all the way. All right, so this obviously is an all-wheel drive truck. I'm going to keep it all-wheel drive. What sort of engine options? Oh, we have a few of them, actually. 6.2 V8. We have a 5.2 V10. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, so if I put this on, it will make a lot of power, right? If I put this on, it will still make a lot of power. Not as much as this. Should I cap this thing at, like, S1? I could try and do that. See, the thing is, I'm not going to be able to catch stupid top speed with the with this truck. So what if I just add this racing, v, uh, racing V8 in it? This one here. Because it's, first of all, it's lighter. It has a lot more torque. Power-wise, it's still going to be good because I'm still going to twin turbo it. Oh, this is going to be very, very interesting. This is going to be stupid fast. I can already tell that this is going to be really, really, really fast. I need to do some things to this. Uh, to the transmission, all that uh, stuff. Oh my god. I, I don't like it lower. It just looks weird. Oh my god, we can have drift suspension on this thing. Mmm, I'm like half tempted to build this thing as a drift truck. Oh, so, so tempted. No, 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 no. I can't drift everything. I can't drift everything as much as I really want to. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. People just get annoyed at me for doing it. Oh, I'd so do it though. <laughs> I would so love to do it right now. This thing is really light. 1,600 kilos. And it has 1,356 horsepower. Okay. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Now, this is an S1 truck, as you can see. 888. Um... I think if I have better tires and all this sort of stuff, we can definitely get this thing to be an S2. But like I said, we're going to try to keep this thing as an S1 truck. 231 miles per hour. Are you serious? Can I get this thing to be even faster? I mean, I can stretch the gears out. Nah. I guess that's pretty much it. That's the, the best the best spot here. Is that. Um, I guess we should drive it. I don't. Again, no tune on this thing. It just sort of looked at the transmission tune on it. Okay. It's a... Uh, it's a little bit happy with the... <laughs> I don't know why I'm drifting it. I immediately just went to do a drift zone with it. I, I don't understand why. I feel like it's like in my nature to, in my nature to just start drifting. Anything and everything. Alright, let's go off-road. I don't even know what to test this thing on. I don't really do any off-road sections. Um, there is actually oh some. Eh, I was gonna say some trail uh, some trail blazer events on the on Fortune Island, but I mean like what's the point in that? It just doesn't make any sense for me to to test that out on there. I don't really know what to to do here. What can I possibly test this thing out on? Because any of these events, right? Any of these like um, small off-road sections and stuff like that, the Hoonigan RS is just absolutely smoke everything. Uh, maybe it's literally just for races. If I can do like uh, dirt racing races and all that sort of stuff, but again, like those type of cross country races, I could possibly do some of those. Cross country would obviously mix both road and just fully off road session. Yeah, let's just do an event. We'll see what it's like. We'll do a race with it. We'll see what it's like. Um, see how it handles any sort of off road terrain. We'll just do a solo race. We'll do that. Uh, oh, wait, no. I have to do create blueprint, uh, off road, open class, uh, sure, whatever. Just as long as I can use my truck. There we go. And then I'll set the difficulty as high as possible, and then we can actually test this thing out and see what it's like. I hate that the streamer mode just keeps getting disabled every single time. So let's put everything, uh, or all the driver tires pretty much on unbeatable. And then we'll try to see how good or bad this thing is against all these trucks. I mean, we're not really racing against other people here, so I don't really. I don't really know how this is going to do. Speed-wise, it's, as you can see, a lot faster than these trucks. This is a lot faster than all of these trucks. Oh, Jesus. I can't tell if they are all just really bad drivers or what. No, this is legit a quick truck. Oh, my God. Oh my god, the handling is so good as well. Oh god, brake, 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 brake. I didn't realize I had to brake so hard for this one.
has a huge amount of torque, which is great. Damn, this is really good. Oh, you need to slow down for some of these corners. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, slow down, slow down, slow down. That has so much power to just pull itself out of corners. This is really nice to drive. Everyone's just falling behind. I don't know where they're gone. You saw I put these guys on unbeatable as well. <laughs> oh my god, this is this is a good truck. Okay. I just use my e-brake a little bit to slide, and that's about it. Like, for a lot of these corners, I barely use my brakes. I just sort of position myself in a way where I kick the back end out, and then I just accelerate, and it pulls me through the corner. That was easy. That was very, very easy to just dominate these people. Oh my god, that was fast. Well, they all use the Raptor, and uh, they got absolutely annihilated with, the rap uh, with them being in... In Raptors, this Mercedes X class is actually kind of good. I need to, uh, I need to be able to compare it to the rest of the, the other trucks, but it's fast. It's really good to drive. I don't know now if it'll be able to be compared. I mean, again, as an A class, that um, that TRX is pretty unreal. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about it. It's this a fast truck as well? Like it pulls off some serious speed. Not bad. Now, I think for the second part of this video, I will transform this into a drift truck. Just because I I feel like I should do you guys a service. And I know for a fact people are just going to comment down below if I don't do it. Do a drift truck, please. And I will. I'll do it right now. I'm going to go ahead and literally just change all the things on this thing. And just turn it into a drift truck. Um, I'll be right back. Alright, well here it is. Absolutely slammed to the floor. Drift Mercedes Benz X-Class. It's, <laughs> it's interesting. I kept the same engine. I changed this to a three-wheel drive now. As you can see, uh, I changed the tires to so the race tires. Um, again, same engine, all that sort of stuff. And then I think I just locked the rear diff. And that's pretty much it. So, race tires, uh, drift suspension, lock the rear diff. Everything else is pretty much the same. Alright, let's see what it's like. So, still lots of torque, which is great. Now that it's a rear wheel drive, it's even better. Lost that completely. Okay, so the front end still doesn't have as much angle, or you can't pull off as much angle. Uh, the setup is completely stock, by the way, or a standard, like suspension setup and all that sort of stuff. So whatever you you have on, as soon as you put the drift suspension, that is literally what's on this thing right now. I think I need to mess with my transmission a little bit as well. I feel like the gears are way too long for this. I mean, I can slide it. It's definitely not gonna be any sort of... Any sort of Viper competitor. Well, I can slide this thing. I wonder what this guy thinks. Me coming up, or coming down the hill with the... <laughs> what an X-Class Mercedes. Oh god. Oh yeah, I should really test out the drift cam. I completely forgot. So this is a new addition into the game. You can see the head movement as well. This is obviously from Forza Motorsport. Um, they ended up bringing this out ages ago in Forza Motorsport 7, and now they brought it out in Horizon, which is great. So, head motion when you're in cockpit view. This is literally drift cam. The way to enable this is literally just going to your HUD settings, and it should be a, uh, a drift cam that you just turn on, and that's pretty much it. It's cool. It's cool, because you see where you're going, which is great. It's completely pointless having your, your eyes literally staring straight ahead of you when you have to look from side to side oh I'm a little bit too close to the inside here it's a really really simple truck to just get sideways and, and drive it's funny it's funny to drive okay wow I even did the seasonal objective well I barely I didn't even squeeze out 400,000 points so it's not really that Insane of a car, but uh, yeah, it's a fun thing to drive overall. I think it's really, really good as a as an off-road vehicle, especially like a cross-country type of vehicle. I think it's very good. 
Well, I guess that's pretty much it. Brand new Mercedes X-Class that was added to the game. I thought we could take a look at it in today's video, and that's what I did. So, if you guys enjoyed today's video and you want to see more videos like this on the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Again, I'm going to say it until we actually reach it. Very, very close to 100,000 subscribers. If you guys are new to the channel and you enjoy the content, again, subscribe, help me out, do all that sort of stuff. Uh, but that's it. Thank you guys very much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.